Hello everybody, we've always loved this TVS Apache RR310. We have ridden it on the racetracks of Chennai. We have taken it to the hills of Morni, which is on the foothills of the Himalayas. We've also ridden it in the rain. This is the new TVS Apache RR310 BS6. Yes, this is the 2020 model. It carries forward the same engine. This is the 312.2 cc single cylinder, four stroke, four valve engine. This is liquid cooled. It also carries forward the same chassis, the same suspension and generates the same power. The 2019 RR310 came with a slipper clutch, an ideal feature for performance bike. But in our earlier videos, we did mention this lacked a few features. Now this 2020 RR310 has a few new features and we're going to talk about it. This is the Motown India show and my name is Roy P. Tharian. So what are the fresh changes in this RR310 from TVS? First and foremost, this gets a new set of tires. Earlier too, it was on Michelin tires, but now it's Michelin Road 5. They have a different set of tires, the grooves which are ideal for rain, for track, for road. So it gives you the perfect handling, perfect cornering and perfect confidence. Second, the color. It always used to come in two colors, a red with white stripes and a sinister black. Well, the black is now changed to titanium black. That's a little different from the sinister black. Third, now this has a detachable windscreen, which is very good in the sense you can take it off, clean it properly. Otherwise, your hands really don't go into this slot here. So that's a good point. We'll just show you how to take it out. And what is amazing on the technology front is that this gets a new TFT screen, which is five inches and very bright and very illuminated. But the most important thing is we also get four different riding modes. Yes, these are urban, track, sport and rain. And each time you toggle between these, it gives you a precise ride comfort and ride confidence. I'll talk about it more. And another feature which is very important is that it's got what's known as a ride-by-wire technology. Now this technology is amazing in the sense this is the accelerator. Now this is usually connected mechanically via a cable into the throttle body. Now what does the throttle body do? Basically the role of the throttle body which has some kind of a, a, a butterfly flap is to let the air in into the engine. The more you accelerate, the more the throttle body uh, response takes place and it ensures more air gets into the engine. And when more air gets into the engine, more fuel is also spurted in through the fuel injection and it goes faster. And do remember, this ride-by-wire -wire technology is a first-in-segment feature. Ride-by-wire right throttle, in simple terms, refers to the absence of mechanical linkage between the accelerator and throttle. Instead, various sensors and actuators connected by wires control the fuel-air supply going to the engine. For gasoline fuel, the stoichiometric air-fuel mixture is about 14.7 is to 1. That is, for every 1 gram of fuel, 14.7 grams of air are required. As I mentioned that this windscreen is detachable. So what do you do? You take this key, open up your little seat here. There's a toolbox and keeping my fingers crossed, I hope they have what's known as an Allen key. Allen is spelled A-L-L-E-N. There you go. This is an Allen key and with this Allen key, you can open up not only the screen, uh, windscreen here, but even some of the, the fairing parts here. Let's take a closer look. So 
So there you go, so as simple as that, you can take all the four screws and this comes off and you can clean the inside as well as the outside perfectly. Okay, so now I'm keeping the toolbox back. But before that, let me also explain to you that this, this seat, the main rider seat can also be taken out and that's how you access the uh, battery here. There is a teeny weeny kind of a, a, a latch here. You just need to pull it and the seat opens up. As simple as that. That's it, it clicks back. Another tiny change here is this uh, start switch here. Now you have a switch which also has the space to kill the engine. So that's very convenient. And on the left, you will notice that there is a high beam switch which can also help you start your lap time. We'll explain that a little later. The TVS Apache RR310 comes with a liquid cool engine as we all know but what is also interesting is the fairing design which is kind of patented to the entire cooling system and these little air vents on both sides are idle to dissipate the hot air so it is very very important that you do not block this area in fact they've written here do not block so one of those enterprising indians might just put some cloth here to store please don't do that these air vents are never to be blocked this is where the cool air gets in and the heat dissipates and before I forget I should also mention this fairing is also designed with the purpose of aerodynamics the TFT screen is easy to read and is very clear the brightness is automatically adjusted and even the night mode can easily be switched into you get three types of trip meters the trip data is also exhaustive like you can get to know distance covered, average speed, total time travel, top speed, fuel consumed, average mileage, etc. Through this screen, you can also set a plethora of functions that is given in the widget list. Objects that have been added to dashboards are called widgets. You can manage the widget with these switches on the left side of the handlebar. Interestingly, you can start your lap time by tugging at the high beam, low beam button. Now coming to the riding modes, the screen offers a different type of display for each mode. These unique ride modes are segment first features. Depending on the mode you set the bike in, you can experience slow speed crawling in traffic conditions, acceleration, fuel economy, braking, safety and stability. power and torque too is controlled in these different riding modes. Though the peak power the engine produces is 34 HP and peak torque is 27.3 Newton meters. In the rain and urban modes the peak power is 25.8 HP while peak torque is 25 Newton meters. In sport and track mode you unleash the beast in this machine. Also remember in the track mode while it unleashes the full power it minimizes the ABS response for late braking into corners with confidence and ease. In urban mode so as to maintain linear acceleration and deceleration the ABS is optimized for a quick response with minimal lever pulsation. In the rain mode the ABS delivers the maximum response with a strong lever pulsation feel. The sport mode also allows sharp acceleration and optimized ABS response. The Bluetooth enabled smart Exonect system with mobile app offers multiple data points on post-ride analysis. 
race telemetry including riding pattern, best lap time, turn by turn navigation, call functionality etc. For the gadget lovers there is plenty to explore. Since we rode the bike on normal roads we tested it for the different riding modes. The full potential of a track mode can only be exploited on a track. Having said that, I was able to experience the different riding modes on the long stretch of road that I rode on. While urban and rain modes give you a very monitored kind of ride feel where a small red light on the screen goes you to change to higher gears, the experience is smooth and the performance linear. I really did not feel any disturbing vibration in any gear. Also keep in mind that in the urban mode you are not restricted on speed in any way. There is enough power to see you well past the 100 km per hour mark in a jiffy. In the track and sport mode, the red light comes on at very high RPMs. I guess the system is tuned in such a way, it knows that in such modes the rider is bound to rev up the engines a lot more than in a normal kind of riding. Similarly, I could also feel the varying response of the ABS kicking in in these different modes. Finally, I want to tell all of you that this new 2020 TVS Apache RR3 ton has come a long way. There is massive improvement on all fronts, whether it's performance, whether it's features, technology, and I would say it's amazing. A big thumbs up to TVS Motor Company. But I have one question before leaving. That is, why is this pillion seat so high? I really don't understand this. I'm a little old fashioned. I love the uh, bench seat kind of stuff, but this is a bit too high. Uh, let me just uh, demonstrate how high this is. I'm going to call my colleague Farhan. Farhan, just come and sit behind me. Let me just show you how it looks, you know. So the guy at the back is on, in, on cloud nine, literally. There, very high. So I feel it's a tad disappointing but maybe the kids love it. This is the Motor India Show. I hope you love this video. If you have, do not forget to give us a thumbs up and like. And if you have not subscribed to the Motor India channel, do so now. Till the next time, always wear your helmet, your gloves, your riding gear when you're on a performance bike.